U.S. secretly amassing killer drone swarms to repel China. Highly classified amass project aims to overwhelm enemy air defenses with a particular eye on thwarting a China invasion of Taiwan. The U.S. is moving to accelerate the development of autonomous drone swarm technologies, which have proved effective in the ongoing Ukraine war and in simulations showing their decisive effect in a Taiwan contingency scenario. This month, the debrief reported that the U.S. Department of Defense had launched the low-profile autonomous multi-domain adaptive swarms of swarms project to develop autonomous drone swarms that can be launched from sea, air and land to overwhelm enemy air defenses. The report says that Amass aims to develop the capability to launch and command thousands of autonomous drones, working together to destroy an enemy's defenses including air defenses, artillery pieces, missile launchers and intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance platforms. The debrief notes that while details of the project are highly classified, pre-solicitation documents show that autonomous drone swarms are likely to focus on deterring or defeating a Chinese invasion of Taiwan. The DARPA mass program is exploring the use of swarms of swarms to conduct military operations in highly contested environments with low-cost swarms with diverse sensors and kinetic and Non-kinetic effectors would primarily be pre-positioned forward and launched remotely, providing rapid response and adaptability to overcome the adversary's time-distance mass advantage, said a DARPA spokesperson quoted by the debrief. The report notes that $78 million U.S. million has been allocated for the AMAS program, with the award expected to go to a single private contractor. In May 2022, Asia Times reported on the potential decisive effects of drone swarms during a Taiwan Strait crisis. Simulations done by the RAND Corporation think tank in 2020 showed that drone swarms linked by a laser mesh data-sharing network were decisive in ensuring a U.S. victory in defending Taiwan against a Chinese invasion. The U.S. drone swarms formed a decoy screen for manned aircraft such as the F-22 and F-35. Extending the latter's sensor ranges through data sharing and enabling them to maintain electronic silence upon approaching their targets. The drone swarms also drastically increased the situational awareness and target acquisition capabilities of manned platforms while flooding enemy radar scopes with multiple targets. Forcing the latter to expend limited missiles and ammunition and reveal their positions for manned platforms and loitering munitions to move in for the kill. Machine learning and AI also allow drone swarms to look at targets from multiple angles, cross-check various targeting data streams and suggest the best way to attack. Recent experience from the ongoing Ukraine war has shown the potential effectiveness of drone swarms in large-scale conventional wars. In a January article for the Royal United Services Institute, Uzi Rubin notes that Iran's Shahid 131-136 has been a game-changing precision weapon that has severely threatened Western air defense systems deployed to Ukraine. Rubin notes that the Shahid's simplicity, uncanny accuracy, low cost and long range make it unique among strategic standoff weapons. In practice, he mentions that the Shahid is operated in swarms and shows pinpoint accuracy in destroying stationary tanks, command vehicles and large installations. Shahid's trump card, Rubin notes, is that it is very low cost compared to cruise and ballistic missiles, meaning it can be mass-produced cheaply and deployed massively to overwhelm enemy air defenses. It should be noted, however, that the 2020 RAND simulation resulted in a Pyrrhic victory for U.S. and Allied forces vis-a-vis -vis China. Previous simulations resulted in the same Pyrrhic scenario, with drone swarms unlikely to prevent such an outcome. Asia Times reported this January that the U.S. might likely repel a Chinese invasion of Taiwan, but both sides will incur massive losses.